Hey y'all, I'm Ajing Bis, back again with another beginning Japanese lecture, and today we will be discussing uh, declarations, how to positively and negatively state things using wa and this. We're going to review a little bit. We need to remember these, this formula, how to say that I am this nationality, a person of this country. Watashi wa Ajing des. Watashi wa Ajing des. I am a person of nationality A. Let's also review basic numbers. You're going to need them a little bit. Well, a lot, actually, in this lesson. 1 through 10, I'm going to go down the line. Uh, this is... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 10. Our key sentence for this lesson is... 私は高校生です。1年生です。And we'll review that again at the end. Today's vocabulary, this uh, lesson is very school-themed. So today's vocabulary has a lot to do with school. The words and phrases in bold are review vocabulary. I presented them previous in previous lectures. You should know them already. We have 私 at the top here. means I, first person pronoun. Anyone can use that. 僕 which also means I, usually has a masculine tone. Males generally use that more. Watashi wa nani nani desu. Watashi wa nani nani desu. I am blank. Okay. Uh, and I'm basically, in this lesson, I'm going to explain how that works, what it means, stuff like that. Next, we have our new words. Uh, the word for student is gakuse. Gakuse. Exchange student, ryugakuse. 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 College student, 大学生大学生 High school student, 高校生高校生 Middle school student, 中学生中学生 Elementary school, 小学生小学生 And then to say, to state what grade or what year you are, you just say a number and then 年生年生年生年生年生年生年生年生年生年生年生年生年生年生年生年生年生年生年生年生年生年生年生年生年生年生年生年生年生年生年生年生年生年生年生年生年生年生年生年生年生年生年生年生年生年生年生年生年生年生
So now let's get into declaring our positive sentences. You basically follow this formula. A wa B des. A wa B des. A is B. A is B. Examples. I am a student. Watashi wa gakusei desu. Watashi wa gakusei desu. Alice is a high school student. Alice wa kouko sei desu. Kouko sei desu. Okay? There is a more casual way of stating all of this, of course. You use da instead of des. A wa bi da. A wa bi da. A is B. Examples. These are the same sentences, just with da instead of des. Watashi wa gakusei da. Watashi wa gakusei da. I am a student. Alice wa kouko sei da. Alice wa kouko sei da. Alice is a high school student. Now, some of you might be wondering, when do I use da and when do I use des? Or when can I use da? When can I use des? Well, it's all about social hierarchy. In East Asia, actually, in Japan and Korea, probably China as well. Not too sure about China. Uh, there is a social hierarchy. You always have to be aware of who you're... Uh, who has more experience than you, who is older than you, stuff like that, and who is has less experience than you, and who is younger than you. Basically, to people older than you with more experience in life, you can you should not say, you should not use casual ways of speaking. So you should not use da when you're speaking to a teacher, a professor, um, even a stranger. It's not really polite to just start speaking to someone you don't even know. You have to speak politely, and that's where des comes in. Des is the polite way of speaking. It's more formal, uh, less casual than da. So to your friends and your family, sure, you say da all day. Boku wa gakusei da. But if you're talking to someone you just met, or a professor, watashi wa gakusei desu. Like that. Okay? Oh, um, this is very important. When the subject is understood from context, you can just omit it. Just get rid of it. You don't have to say watashi wa, watashi wa, watashi wa, watashi wa every time. That's... Actually, it, it sounds very, uh, it doesn't sound good in Japanese. Not at all. Just saying it once at the beginning is sufficient. So this self-introduction right here is very natural. Watashi wa Smith desu. Daigakusei desu. Sanensei desu. Amerika jin desu. Okay? It's kind of a basic bare bones introduction, but it's natural nonetheless because we don't repeat the watashi wa, watashi wa sumis desu, watashi wa daigakusei desu, watashi wa sanensei desu, watashi wa amerika jin desu. That's very cumbersome and just unnecessary. Don't say watashi wa all the time, okay? We have an activity, activity one here. Guess which person each group of statements is referring to. We have four people here, Hana, Michael, Rudy, and Judy, and some very basic information about them. Um, let's pause the video if you want to try solving it on your own. I'm going to solve it right now. Number one, daigakusei desu. This person is a daigakusei, which means university student. Good. I assume you're participating. Ninensei desu. They are a second year, or as we say in America, sophomore. Mexico jin desu. They are Mexican. So who here fits the description? They're university sophomore and Mexican. Not, Han, not Hana, college sophomore Mexican. Okay, Michael. So Michael is number one. Number two, daigakusei desu. Uh, I mean, kouko sei desu. They are a high school student. Yonensei desu. They are a senior. Amerika jin desu. They are American. So who on here is a high school senior and American? That's right, Rudy. Rudy. So Rudy would be written here, Rudy. Sanban number three, daigakusei desu. They are university student, ninensei desu, a sophomore, amerika jin desu. They are American, so a college sophomore, American. We have hana. Right, hana, right here. Kokousei desu, sannensei desu, fransu jin desu. That is our uh, remaining person, Judy, from France, with the blonde hair. And there are the answers in bold. Now, how do we say the opposite? How do we declare negative sentences? Well, you can follow this formula. A wa bi de wa arimasen. You can contract that de wa into something shorter. Uh, there it is. A little out of order. Sorry about that. A wa bi ja arimasen. A wa bi ja arimasen. A wa bi de wa arimasen. A wa bi ja arimasen. A is not B. 
And then our example here, 私は学生じゃありません。I am not a student. じゃありません。Moving on, there is also a more casual way of saying this that you would use only to your friends and family. The na, or the ありません part is replaced with ない。So we have now, えはびではない。えはびではない。A is not B. A wa B janai. A wa B janai. A is not B. Our example, Watashi wa gakusei janai. I am not a student. Another activity, use the chart to talk about these four people. We need to state two positive sentences and one negative one. This is a very subjective activity, so you can answer these really any way you want. I'm sure there's a number of ways you can answer this.、Um, I'm going to give some answers. They are all correct. If yours match mine, fantastic.、Uh, pause the video if you want to solve it on your own. I'm going to do it right now. Question number one we need to talk about Katie. Katie wa? Well, Katie is first here. She's a university freshman and Canadian. So I'm just going to go down the chart here. Daigakuse. Katie wa daigakuse desu. Katie wa daigakuse desu. 1年生です。She's a first year. 1年生です。And then for my negative, I'll just simply state that she is not a nationality that she isn't. <laughs> so I will say, イギリス人ではありません。イギリス人ではありません。That's Katie. Number two, Bob. Bob は、Bob はあの高校生です。高校生です。I'm going to throw in A negative here just for fun. Let's say he's not a elementary school student. Shou gakse ja arimasen or shou gakse dewa arimasen. And then we can say that he is, he is British. Igiris jin des. Bob wa igiris jin des. Okay? Number three, Jack. Jack wa. Jack wa.、Uh, let's start with a negative this time. 留学生ではありません。留学生じゃありません。We can say that.、Uh, we can say.、Uh, 5年生。Ah, okay, because he's, he's a 小学生。5年生です。5年生です。インド人です。Very simple, positive declarations. 中田,中田さん。Nakada, I will actually use casual informal Japanese just to shake it up a little because I feel like it.、Uh, Nakada wa ryugakuse da. Ryugakuse da. Yonensei da.、Uh, Indo jin janai. Indo jin janai. Indo jin dewa nai. Okay,、um, I wrote some answers beforehand. I'm not sure they exactly match exactly what I just said. Pretty sure they do. Anyways, if you have something along these lines, as long as you have two positive statements and one negative using the correct grammar and appropriate formalities, then you should be fine. Okay, we have another activity.、Um, this is also a very, very subjective question. Answer the following questions in Japanese as they relate to you. I'm going to ask you to just pause the video right now. Do this for yourself.、Um, I'm going to answer these as they relate to me, okay, right now. Number one, are you a chugakuse? Oh, and by the way, we haven't really learned how to say yes or no. You probably know how to say that already.、Um, if you do, go right ahead and use those. I'm just going to assume that you guys don't know how to say yes or no yet. We're actually going to learn that the next lecture. So I'm just going to state the declaration, whether it's positive or negative. Are you a chugakuse? I'm just, I'm just gonna say, Chugakse dewa arimasen. Chugakse ja arimasen. Okay. Two, are you Nihonjin? Am I Japanese? <laughs> I'm gonna make this kind of a fuller answer. Nihonjin, boku wa Nihonjin ja arimasen. Amerika jin desu. Amerika jin desu. You can clarify. Number three, are you a Rokunense? Actually, I'm not a student, so I'm just gonna say, Gakse dewa arimasen. Gakse dewa arimasen. Gakse dewa arimasen. 
Okay, and then four, are you someone called Smith? Am I Mr. Smith? No. <laughs> Again. So I'm gonna say just my name. Amejin des. Amejin des. Or Amejin da. If you want to be informal. Uh, I believe these are the same. I again I pre-wrote these answers and I forget exactly, but yeah, everything looks good. Okay, now we're moving on. We're getting to the end of the lesson here. Listening practice. I'm going to read two quest questions. Two, I guess, uh, sentences. I'm actually reading two sentences per question, so it's going to be four sentences technically, and I'm going to read each of them twice. Listen and write down whether it be in your head or on a piece of paper uh, and see if your ears need a little bit more training or not. Pause the video if you need more time. Number one is 私は学生です。1年生です。私は学生です。1年生です。Okay, and the answer for that is right here. Number two, moving on. Watashi wa ryugakusei janai. Amerika jin da. Watashi wa ryugakusei janai. Amerika jin da. And the answer is. Mm -hmm. How did you do? Did you get them? Do you need to practice more, listen more, work on that vocabulary? What do you need to do? Now we have translation practice. Translate the following statements into either English or Japanese. Pause the video right now so that you can do it on your own. I'm going to reveal the answers right now. I'm a university student. I'm a second year student. I'm a high school student. I'm a fourth year student. Okay. And we come back to our key sentence. 私は高校生です。1年生です。And you should know now that this means I am a high school student. What year? First year student. Okay. Now for the homework. Are you a student? <laughs> if you are, describe yourself using the Japanese we just learned today. State whether you, if you are a student, if you're not a student, I'm not a student anymore, so I would say gakusei ja arimasen. Um, and then specify, if you are, specify your grade, what level, what year you are. Write it down in Japanese or type it in the comments, I don't care. Um, of, as usual, there is a worksheet that accompanies this lesson. You can find it on my website, in, link in the description below. Check it out, check it out. And that about does it for this episode. I hope you guys learned a lot. Again, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, just leave them in the comment section below. I am always willing to listen and I'm excited to see how uh, you guys are enjoying these lessons and whether or not you're you know, getting anything out of them. Thanks guys so much. See you in the next lecture.